How you guys doing? Uh, I'm at the hotel. Uh, I have completed my two week training with uh, Snyder. Um, this is week three of training. Uh, I'm gonna be me meeting my uh, trainer uh, for over the road for the next five five days. Yeah, five days. Um, so. Don't know where to start. So, all right. So we'll start off with um, training at the OC. So, uh, first two to three days <clears throat> uh, at the OC, it's all paperwork. All right. So there's three tests. Three tests you have to take. Uh, one is for your hazmat that lets you uh, haul up to uh, up to 3,000 pounds I'm sorry 3,000 pounds 1,000 pounds of hazmat material now that is not uh, on your license that is with the company so uh, I believe on the hazmat you have to pass that. I'm not positive, don't hold me to it. I do know on the DOT question, um, I believe it's 30, it was 35 questions, you have to pass that. Um, it's three, yeah, three tests. At the first one, I can't remember which one it was. Um, so, uh, and once you get with the test, you're pretty much in the yard. Now, the air brake test, it's pretty much the same as what you learn into CDL school. Uh, they don't have automatic transmissions, um, I'm sorry, manual transmissions here anymore. Um, so, pretty much everything's the same. There's nothing really different. Uh, they got the steps that you want you to do and all that stuff like that. Um, uh, your steps for, for pre-trip um, and all that stuff that pretty, pretty much basically the same same thing nothing really different about that either um, so that stuff's for easy now the trailer there is a total of eight, eight um, for uncoupling and nine steps for um, coupling okay so um, they want to make sure, you know, when you pull out, which is basically what any truck driver should do. You shouldn't just pull out your trailer and, you know, and, oh, oh it's not going to fall, you know. They want you to pretty much back up, you know, unhook your trailer, you know, stop uh, where your, um, your apron of your trailer is still underneath the back axle of the trailer just in case it does fall. It doesn't fall to the ground all right so they have some steps um, that they want you to do this is for this is for the coupling so uncoupling on this side see they want you to um, stop here your the trailer is at 12 o'clock position on the back tire which you should do that um, you know it's nothing different um, now when the coupling comes all right so now these new trucks don't give me a hold on to them so what the old what the old trucks used to do and my stepdad was a truck driver so he used to do it so what you would do is you would dump the air, rear airbags now the rear airbags would bring the frame of the trailer down two to four inches okay lower the landing gear and all that stuff like that now on some of these new trucks, you cannot do that. You can't dump the airbags no more. So what they want you to do is, they want you back underneath the trailer, don't hook up to it, make sure that your kingpin is in line with the hole. Now you're allowed to be two inches off, and then they want you to lower lower the trailer down that two to, two to three inches. This way it prevents you from uh, uh, high hooking, uh, jump the fifth wall, uh, 
all that stuff. Um, so, you know, you're going to have to little, give a little bit of effort to get that truck back underneath that trailer because you're going to be picking it up off the ground pretty much like two inches. Um, and then before you hook up to it, you're going to be inspecting the fifth wheel, make sure there's no debris in there, make sure all the, the bolts, there's no cracks. Um, and same thing with on the other side and then, you know, hook up to it. Um, make sure that the shank, the shank, the shank is all around the king pin. Um, this will looks like if it's not all around, um, you know, how, it, how it's securely uh, locked in position, um, all that stuff like that. So, um, that stuff is really good um, to learn. Um, and then, like your hazmat card. So, I, they do a lot of dedicated routes. Um, so chlorine for pools or something like that you know they teach you all that stuff like that so the training was really good um now uh that's good the one thing it's, tra it's training so they are not wanting you to come there and uh, fiddle around they want you to know what you're doing and be a good driver you know uh, learn how to take your turns, uh, learn how to back, uh, back up, learn how to follow the instructions. That's what they're wanting to do. Now, they're going to put you in pressure. I went to the Carlisle location in PA, and boy, some of those turns, you know, they put you under pressure. Now, it's not, I, I don't think it's more of teaching how to do tight areas, like you do Snyder City. There's some tight areas in Steiner City. So you have to do some abundant hooks and all that stuff like that. Now, I don't think they want you to do perfect or, or, or to, you know, they want to see how you react, I think, more under pressure. You know, are you going to freak out? Are you going to do what you should do when you're under pressure and you can't see behind you? Are you going to get out of the truck and look, you know? Um... And then another thing what I liked is, so when I was in truck driving school, um, I went to Smith & Solomon. Um, the way they tell you how to alley dock, they don't use that no more. So basically, an alley dock, you know, if you know how to do it right, you're in a straight line, you back up, gradually get the trailer over, you know, and get in the hole. Now, what they teach you how to do is, so your spot that you want, you know, you look in there, and all that stuff and then you go up to your second spot as soon as your shoulder or your elbow is pretty much to the almost the end of the second spot you're gonna do a hard right turn to 12 o'clock and another hard turn back to 9 o'clock and once it gets to 9 o'clock get that wheel straight and stop right there now what that's gonna do is that's gonna pretty much make it where your trailer is already lined up for that hole you know, you're going to have to do a couple maneuvers and all that stuff like that. Um, and then, you know, basically get it in there. All depends on where your trailer is at. You know, if your trailer is right there on the edge of the, the parking spot, you can just kind of, you know, guide it in there. Uh, you know, they don't want to see you with, uh, they call it monkey arms. Uh, you know, flopping your hands around and trying to get it in there. They want to see nice short turns to the left, to the right, and all that stuff. Once you get lined in. So I think the train is good. Um, uh, that that you learn, um, you know, and they want to work with you um, and all that stuff. Um, so I kind of feel bad for the people that want to charge out of school and then get any road time because you're going to be definitely needed in here. Um, so I didn't have any issues. The only thing I think I had an issue with was kind of going too deep on turns. I would get my trailer too deep and then leave a gap uh, on the one side uh, where they would, um, a car could come by me or something like that. Uh, now they teach button hook here. I don't know if any of you know what button hook is. Uh, some truck driving companies do not want you to do it. Um, it's fun. It's different. I've done it before. I didn't realize I'd done it, but I've done it before. The instructor I had told me it was illegal, uh, but apparently it's not because you do it right in front of the courthouse here. Uh, so I'll show you. Here it's like a truck. All right. So you want to make a 
right hand turn here. So what you're gonna do is, you're gonna get your truck here, you're gonna turn left, straight in and out, and then you're gonna pretty much, oh, I'm sorry, I did that wrong. All right, so what you're gonna do is, here's your spot here, you have a one lane or a two lane. If you have one lane, you're gonna have to go into oncoming traffic. You have two lanes, you can have your right turn lane, your straight lane, or, or your straight lane, and then left. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna have your trailer sideways in the turning lane here. Your tractor's gonna be into most likely the second straight lane, maybe all depends on how how um, how tight it is. So you're gonna turn your, your tractor left, go straight out, and then a sharp right turn. So this way your trailer is already it's gonna fall your truck, so you're making that turn wider and going out this way. Um, some companies don't like it. Uh, I didn't really have any issues. If you know Carlisle, some of those tight areas, um, uh, there's some tight areas. Um, so I think it's fun. Uh, I had Brian as a, uh, a trainer, an instructor uh, through my training. Uh, he was really good. Um, you know, never, never had him on the edge of a seat. We had one guy in the truck, and he was on the edge of his, <laughs> his seat. Um, so, you know, um, just do good. Um, uh, there's already a video on here about the pay, so I'm not gonna really discuss the pay. Yeah, it's not the best, um, but get through with the training and then get on the road. That's when you make start making their own money. Um, yeah, there's other companies out there that pay you $700 a week. Um, but are they going to teach you everything that you needed to know or to do, you know? Uh, and then another one that we did was uh, a horseshoe backup. I don't know if anybody knows a horseshoe backup, but that's, that's what I was told it was called. So, your, your dock here, it can be straight, it can be at an angle, and your truck is way over here. You pretty much have to get your trailer all the way around back into that spot. Now, when I did it, there's a trailer right here on on your driver on your passenger side, passenger side. So you have to know how to get your trailer over and still keep your your truck tight. And then as soon as you get around, swing your truck all the way around and just do some pull ups and get it in there. Uh, I got that. Um, common sense uh, you know how to get in the trailer safely how to open the, the doors on the van trailer safely without a wind coming along and taking you out because they'll catch some wind you know and those doors will feel like they're way 200 pounds once the wind comes around um, everything so uh, so far things good um, I, I like the training that you do and you do a lot of videos uh, they give you a book on how to do all of that stuff um, and they teach you how to do the paper logs. So uh, if anything happens with the tablet, they'll show you the paper logs and all that stuff. So everything's good so far uh, with them. Uh, I made it through training, which uh, our class started out with 16 or 18 people and only eight graduated. So, um, you know, they're, they don't mess around. You, you can't drive a truck, then I don't know what to tell you. Uh, you know, I'm sure there's other companies out there. You know, uh, Trans Am or, uh, yeah, Trans Am, I think it is. Uh, <laughs> they uh, put you in orientation for two days and they send you on the road by yourself. No trainer, no nothing. Um, I, I just don't know how that, I just don't know how that works, whatever. Because you're going to some t situations where you're not going to know what to do. Um, and everything. So right now I am in... Oh my goodness, I don't know what this is called. Uh, Strat Strat Draffin, I think it's pronounced. Uh, Virginia. Uh, I mean, my trainer here. Uh, I live in New Jersey, so it's a five-hour drive. Um, sometimes you don't go that far. Uh, sometimes you'll train right there by the OC where you want to uh, do your um, your classes, all that stuff like that. Uh, we did have one guy had to go to Chicago. 
so they fly you there and they rent him a car so they take care of that they take care of your expenses driving here um, I have a bigger truck so uh, you know I don't get the best gas mileage or whatever um, but there's nothing I can do about that whatever so they reimburse you for that uh, they reimburse you for your gas getting to the OC for your training um, what else of anything else really and then they have some fun prizes you know they do the scavenger hunt see if you know the parts of the truck you'll get a hat or something um, and then what else yeah you get a hat they have that and you do go to your test you'll get a hat or something like that um, I got an atlas um, so I was on my road uh, not really road test but road test to see how I would do um, and we're coming down the mountain, uh, coming around the corner. And the speed limit, I believe, was like 25, 35 or something like that. Um, so I was slowing down, you know, staying to the high side. I'm coming around the corner, whatever. And here he comes, a swift truck. Almost took me out. I mean, literally, his front tire was almost in the middle of my truck. So luckily I was able to control the truck and I wasn't going that fast. I scooted over and just brought the truck to a stop. If I would have went over up uh, uh, another foot to two foot, I would have been taken out, uh, you, you know. Um, so I don't know what he was doing. He was going too fast. Uh, he wasn't saying to the high side at all of the turn. It, it, it was just a mess. Um, so I don't know, understand how those drivers are getting hired if they don't know how to drive. It's like they don't even care. They just want to sit you in the truck and that's it. So, well, last week, 